Hello YouTube, this is Colt the Armadillo. What, I am here to tell you, what if you were able to install Mac without having to install it? Or without having to run it through? Or without having to do any partitioning, mounting, burning, or anything that involves tough work? Well, I'm here to tell you that you can. And that if you want to become a Hackintosh user, today is the day. It, it'll only take about a few minutes. The only long thing is downloading the files. So, what we're going to do is you're going to need to get VMware Workstation or V7 or higher or VMware Player 4 or higher. Which a VMware Workstation actually does come included with the Mac download though I believe it's a trial. You will not need to install this Mac and it is not a disk, it's a virtual drive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the site I'll provide a link in the description and um, you can run an Intel or AMD processor with this it comes with a Darwin bootloader first that has to be mounted, so that's the only mounting you'll have to do. And if you're AMD, you'll need another bootloader, obviously. So, anyways, this site will tell you everything you need to do with it. Like, it'll tell you how to change the language because it'll come in Russian, so. It takes about a few seconds to change, no problem at all. It'll come with sound working, at least it did for me. It'll come with... Um, internet with the internet going through your internet. So if you so if your Windows is connected, then this will be connected also. This Mac is updatable. I've updated it to 10.6.3. I might update it again to get the Mac App Store, but we'll see. So far, it's worked good. It's come with all the kernel extensions I need, which a kext is the Mac version of a driver. So you can also get Multi Beast if you're not sure something's missing I the only thing I've not gotten working correctly is my video card so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to on the site well in the top part of the page you'll go to require products for install Mac 10.6.4 snow leopard on VMware or pre-installed Mac VMware image you're gonna go down to number two which it has a snow leopard VMware image which it's about 2.8 seven or eight gig and this 2.3 that's without the workstation if you already have workstation or player and this is seven zip format which can be opened with WinRAR if you have WinRAR so now let's just say you finish the download up oh, this is a torrent download also so you will need view torrent bit torrent or something else now if you're done with the download you should have this in your downloads folder well it'll be more like this but you'll extract it and you'll click on this once it's done you'll need about 20 to 30 gig on your hard drive for this if not more if you really want more because you can expand your hard drive in VMware but this is your hard disk image, and this is Darwin, which is the bootloader for Intel, not AMD. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into VMware Workstation, if you've purchased it, or VMware Player, either way. You're going to get either a trial of Power ISO, Ultra ISO, or... Um, virtual clone drive which is my personal favorite you'll go you'll either go to open if you have it as your default program or open with and choose your program in the side here and once it's mounted you're gonna go in the VMware click on open go to the directory of your Mac file and 
you'll click on where your hard drive will be which mine won't show up because I already have it installed that's not it because it's only two kilobytes but you'll click on it it'll open up it'll look something like this which this the settings on it now are to run with one gig of RAM um, one processor with one core so if you have a dual core processor that'll be good um, or a quad core that's even better um, it'll use Darwin.ISO which is automatically set so you don't even need to mount it if you don't want you can choose an actual file network adapters NAT which means if you're connected to the internet on Windows it'll be connected sound card auto detect which is works display auto detect which is works for me because it is widescreen support which is really nice so anyways you'll also if you're running Intel or AMD you'll want to go to edit virtual machine settings I can't remember how exactly to do it right now but you'll want to find how to change your acceleration depending on your computer which first you have to enable virtualization in your BIOS which this is YouTube the land of answers so you can just look up how to do that it's very easy but you'll have to look up how to um, change your virtualization from VTX to um, automatic and when you change it to automatic you shouldn't get a kernel panic because the first time I did this I got a kernel panic and I just fixed that so now we're gonna power on this virtual machine with all the settings I just told you let's go full screen mode just to make it funner This will take about a minute to boot. You should get this. If you don't get that, um, comment or go to the website and comment on their posts. They're actually very helpful. They really do help with a lot though. Sorry for my shaky hand. You'll notice the Apple screen is not in like widescreen, but the operating system will be in widescreen, so don't worry. If you feel it's taking long to load, don't fret, because it always takes a little while. <clears throat> There's my background I set. This isn't the automatic background. The automatic background is actually the snow leopard. Just that I like this background. Now everything is loaded. Though let me tell you now, this Mac does not come with iLife. Which is iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand. I bought those separately and installed. So you'll be out of luck if you don't buy those okay now also um with sound headphones do work i just wanted to bring that up now if you can get sound to work headphones do work but for some reason every time i start up mac with this it does not get the boot or shutdown sounds so just if you think your sound isn't working it probably is working now anyways, what we are going to do is 
when you start up this will all be in Russian and when you scroll across these like in the dock they'll all be in Russian so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to system preferences which looks like the settings icon on your iPod you're going to go to the little flag you see that little flag it won't say language of text because it's in Russian so and now you can see drag the languages you prefer so what you would do is you would have brought English and brought it up so yeah you would have brought you would have selected British English which all these will be in the language they normal like all these will just come written in the language that's spoken so British English won't be written in Russian so you won't have to take a lucky guess for text you don't have to do anything with that for formats you want to put region United States and change currency to US dollar and measurement units US or wherever you're from then when you go to keyboard like input sources you're gonna deselect Russian and you can't unselect US it won't let you so you'll be good there now after you close this your finder bar will still be in Russian so what you're gonna do is just re restart your system which so far I've learned restart works successfully and so does shut down I'm not sure sleep does though so you'll have your working Mac system here it'll be 10.6.0 so if you want to install iLife 2011 you'll have to get the combination update or the combo update for 10.6.3 and if you want the Mac App Store you'll have to update to 10.6.6 which those updates are free and provided by Apple now I'm just going to show you how the internet works So it works. And every program should work. Also, if you find a kernel extension for any of your hardware, like your video card, anything like that, that isn't working properly, you'll go to Kext Helper B7. You'll have to um, put in, you'll have to open your Kext. And you'll have to put in the password, which the password for the administrator for this is 123. So you can't really forget that. But anyways, this has been Colt Thermodillo with Mac, easiest install you'll ever find. So I hope you'll enjoy this, and most of you will thank me for this. Any issues, comment, and I might be able to help you. Any complaints... That's fine. Now, don't start any, like, hate comments, like, hate against Windows or hate against Mac, because those comments will just be deleted, because I, I don't need that on my, on my comment page. So, enjoy it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.